Everyone knows the classic I'm loving it jingle. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. It's been a part of McDonald's brand for two decades, and they still continue to use it to this day. However, what might seem like an innocent slogan actually has quite the bizarre history. No one knows who actually wrote it. The writer of the simple five-syllable jingle has been in question for years. Many assume that Justin Timberlake and Pharrell Williams wrote it because the slogan was based on one of their songs called I'm Loving It. But in 2016, rapper Pusha T came out of the woodwork and claimed that he created it. But then the agency behind the I'm Loving It campaign called out Pusha T's claims and disputed everything he said. So who actually wrote it? To find out, we first need to know why I'm Loving It was created in the first place, which brings us to the year 2000. 2003. McDonald's was in serious decline in 2003. They were under attack from the media for treating employees badly, customers were perceiving McDonald's brand as no longer relevant, and their customer base had lost trust in the brand overall. McDonald's stock price had declined from $40 in 2000 to under $13 in 2003, a 67% decrease. They needed a serious rebound in sales before it was too late, and their plan to do so was to run their first ever global marketing campaign. Up until 2003, Three, McDonald's had never done a global marketing campaign, so this level of work was far out of their comfort zone. They wanted to work with the right agency to pull this campaign off, so McDonald's held a competition between 14 international ad agencies to find the right fit. The winning firm, Hei and Partner, was a tiny agency based in the quiet Munich suburb of Unterhaching, Germany. Their winning idea was a campaign called this which translates to, I love it. So, I love it, which was changed to, I'm loving it, was the official slogan for McDonald's new global campaign. But they wanted to do more than the slogan. They wanted a catchy jingle to go along with it. To perfect the jingle, McDonald's once again turned to Hei and Partner, who coincidentally had great connections with a music production company called Mona Davis Music. The president of Mona Davis, Tom Batoy, was the one that ended up making the jingle we know today. He said he originally heard the bada ba 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 jingle when he heard an unnamed backup vocalist sing it in his studio. Tom loved the jingle, so he brought the idea to Hei and Partner, who then brought it to McDonald's to use for the I'm Loving It campaign. So, the campaign was set in stone but McDonald's had one more trick up their sleeve to make this campaign a global hit. After doing research on their audience, McDonald's realized that young people were most attracted to them. To connect with them, they wanted to turn their jingle and their slogan into a full-fledged pop song. And what better artist to make a song for them than the king of pop at the time? Justin Timberlake. McDonald's paid Justin $6 million to make a song that included the jingle and their slogan. On top of getting Justin on the song, they hired legendary producer Pharrell Williams to write and produce the track. The song they made, purposely titled I'm Loving It, was a great song, but what was more impressive was McDonald's strategy of releasing the song. Their plan was to quote, leak the song to the radio months before the campaign started to get young people hooked on the catchy tune. Then, after everyone had heard the track, McDonald's would announce their partnership with Justin and use his song in their commercials. The idea was to first incorporate the message into pop culture, have consumers resonate with the message, and then associate the message with McDonald's. With the plan ready to go, they greenlighted the campaign. And it worked. Justin's song had blown up worldwide, and everyone started establishing a positive correlation between the song to McDonald's commercials and their brand overall. From that point on, McDonald's continued to use I'm Loving It in their commercials, and their sales started to skyrocket. And well, the rest is history. Or is it? Take a closer listen to McDonald's original global commercial for I'm Loving It. I'm loving it. No guts, no glory. Seems like I stumbled in the wrong territory. I'm loving it. Looks can be deceiving. There's a slight change of plans for the evening. That's not Justin Timberlake. It's famous rapper Pusha T. So, who wrote what? It's no doubt that Justin and Pharrell wrote the original I'm Loving It tune, but the first global commercial McDonald's ran did in fact include Pusha T's rapping. So Pusha T did have involvement with I'm Loving It, but on top of using his bars for the commercial, he claimed that he wrote the entire song for the commercial. He felt that he was exiled out of the credits for the song and was paid, quote, peanuts in comparison to everyone else involved. However, multiple sources dispute his claim. Tom Batoy said that, quote, Pusha T was never involved in the creation of the McDonald's I'm Loving It song for the commercial. Rather, Batoy says he helped create it with Justin and Pharrell for McDonald's and the Hey Ye Ad Agency. To more people, Larry Light, chief marketing officer of McDonald's, 
and Danny Saber, who worked as a sound engineer for the song, also confirmed that the version of I'm Loving It used in the commercial wasn't written by Pusha T. On top of those claims, McDonald's specifically named Mona Davis as leading the quote music development of the song used in the global commercial. After these rebuttals, Pusha T received multiple requests to comment on these counterclaims, but declined to respond to any of them. Which of course, is very suspicious. This all still might seem confusing, so let me recap. Hey and Partner, along with Mona Davis Music, made the ba da ba 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 jingle and the slogan. McDonald's paid JT $6 million to make a song with the jingle and slogan, and had Pharrell Williams produce the track. Then, for their first global commercial, they paid Pusha T, quote, peanuts to rap over JT's chorus. It's unknown if Pusha T wrote his lyrics for that song. But according to him, he did and felt that he was underpaid for doing so. However, pretty much everyone else involved in the global commercial song denied his claims. At the end of the day, we may never know who wrote what, but what we do know is that there was one winner that came out on top. McDonald's. What McDonald's got out of this was their most famous marketing campaign of all time. I'm Loving It was originally planned to run for two years and end in 2005, but the jingle lives on to this day. It's been running for almost two decades, making it the longest running and most successful ad campaign in McDonald's history. Their business rebounded like no other, going from a stock price of $12 in 2003 to over $260 today. Even with its bizarre history, there's no doubt that I'm Loving It will go down as one of the most famous marketing campaigns of all time.